What is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Gear Toward Gear. I'm so glad you're here. And today, as you can see, there's nothing on the table. And that's because we're going to do an EDC pocket dump, kind of an EDC uh, update, I guess. And uh, so let's get started. As I get tripoded up here, as I've mentioned in some other videos, I still haven't figured out how to get my iPhone to record in landscape mode unless I move it around a little bit first. Um, so that's the reason for that. So let's get right into it. So I'll start with the items that I carried or that I carry all day, every day, no matter where I am, whether I'm at home or out and about. And today I spent most of the day at home, which was a nice uh, change of pace because um, I've been out quite a bit the last few days. So I spent most of my day at home today and the things that I carry when I'm at home at all times in my pocket are gonna be the following. And we'll start with kind of the boring stuff first. Breath mints. I uh, love these Altoids Arctics. This one happens to be peppermint and I think they're sugar free, which I guess is good for my dental hygiene. So that is the Altoids Arctic. I also always carry a tube of Burt's Bees, especially this time of year when it's cold in Texas, lips get chapped. So uh, guys out there, there's nothing wrong with using lip balm. It uh, comes in handy. So that happens to be Burt's Bees, whatever your uh, preference is there. Um, and then I always carry a lighter. And this is not for fire starting or emergency situations. This is because I have a bad habit. Um, it's a legal habit, but I smoke cigarettes, unfortunately, and so this is always in my pocket. And that kind of comes into play with the Altoids. I like to try to keep my breath as fresh as possible. Uh, in addition, I always carry a comb. I have a beard, and I like to keep my beard kept. And so I always carry a comb. This particular comb, I'll touch on for a second, is made by a company called Kent. And I'll see if I can get, uh, all the kind of wording is, is kind of worn off over the years, but if I get the right angle, you may be able to see the brand name Kent, the model number, which is F, uh, F-O-T. Um, all, all we can really see is the where it says handmade. And this is a, a British company. They're based out of the UK and they've been around since 1777 one of the longest uh, continuously running companies in the history of our great earth. And they make fantastic combs. Um, the comb itself is made from uh, like a cellulose acetate and they hand cut every tooth. They polish it. Um, it's really gentle on your face and on your hair, um, your facial hair in, in my case. But they make all different kinds of combs in all shapes and sizes for whatever your needs may be. Uh, but I find that the model FOT, which is four and a half inches long and just straight, straight across, kind of a medium, medium tooth, is perfect for a, a beard comb. So that's the beard comb. And that goes for like 10 bucks. And I've had this for like seven years. So you can get the, you know, dollar store plastic injection molded combs for 99 cents and they'll tear up your face. Um, might as well spend 10 bucks and have something that you can keep for... 10 or 20 years. Uh, lastly, something I always carry no matter what is a knife. Uh, today I happen to be carrying the Kershaw Model 1776. And this particular knife, you may be, if you watch my last video, you may be thinking this is not the type of video that, uh, or I'm sorry, the type of knife that, that Sean typically carries and it's not. Um, I don't carry this knife often, but the reason I was carrying this today is because, um, in my office, I went in my office this morning when I woke up and I happened to glance at the walls and I have a copy or a replica rather, um, full size of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence that are framed in my office. And I happened to look up at them and was feeling patriotic and deciding what knife to carry for the day. And this happens to be model 1776, you know, the year that the US declared independence from England and it's made in the USA. If you can see the little flag there. And so I was just feeling a little patriotic and nostalgic. So I just grabbed this, but this is actually kind of contrary to what I would typically carry. I don't tend to prefer aluminum handles. I really don't at all like assisted knives and this is an assisted knife. 
I, I don't like coated blades, and this is a black coated blade or a black wash finish, as they call it. Um, it's got a, uh, I believe, 3.25 cutting edge, so not out of the realm of, of what I would typically carry in terms of length, but you know, the coated blade, the assisted opening, it's just not really my standard go-to, and it's heavy. It weighs 4.7 ounces, but it is made in the USA, 420HC steel, and these go for about $43 on Amazon in the US. So that's the knife. So that's all the stuff that I had on me all day today around the house in my pockets. Um, I guess one thing I should add, and it's on me right now, is my watch. And I tend to wear a watch most days. And this one in particular is a G-Shock, uh, kind of just a standard um, no frills G-Shock. This is the model DW. 9052-1V. It's uh, $43 and it has a 48 millimeter bezel. Um, pretty pretty straightforward there. It's just a, a basic watch, tells time, um, stopwatch, timer, things of that nature. Um, I do have a, a few others and I'll, I'll show a couple others here in a second, but um, I, I keep my watches on standard time. Um, although, you know, spending several years as a paramedic and working in my current role, which is environmental health and safety. Everything I've done for the last well over a decade has been in military time, but I've gotten to the point where I can just look at my watch and say it's, you know, in this case, 2048 local time. Um, so I can do the conversions pretty quickly. What I find is, you know, when people ask you, hey, you know, do you have the time? And if you're wearing a watch, oftentimes, and it's kind of a, a dick move now that I think about it, but sometimes people will just kind of turn their, their wrist towards the person and show them the time instead of just telling them the time. And so uh, for that reason, I keep it in, in just standard time so anyone can read it easily and I can do the conversions pretty quickly for military time. So that is what I had on my person all day today around the house. Then I left, I left the house. So when that happened, I added a few things to my, uh, my EDC or my on-body carry. And the first was a pen. And this is just a kind of, not cheap, I guess, but just a basic ballpoint pen. Uh, this one in particular is made by Zebra and it's model F-701. And they go for about seven, $8 on Amazon. Just a, a standard, you know, clicky ballpoint pen. It's got some knurling um, down there, kind of where you would grip the pen. So it's comfortable, it writes well, and it's, it's I've had this exact pen, I mean, this, this exact one for probably four years and being all stainless steel, it, it holds up pretty well. I don't look at this as a defensive tool or anything like that. Um, it's just a pen that's durable. And so I tend to carry a pen um, when I leave the house. The other thing I added when I left the house was a flashlight. I'll always carry a flashlight if I'm outside the home. Inside my home, there's flashlights everywhere and so I don't tend to carry one on my person if I'm just sitting at home um, inside. And so today I was carrying the Streamlight MicroStream USB and this has been covered in a previous video. So that was added when I left the house in addition to a multi-tool. And I'm not, a, I'm not big on, on large multi-tools, but I do really like this Leatherman Micra specifically because its main tool is scissors. I find that with multi-tools, I tend to use the scissors more often than the pliers. And so for that reason, I, I really enjoy the Letterman Micra. These go for about $27 and they come in all sorts of colors, red, blue, black, green, pink, I mean, all sorts of colors. And they go for about $27 to $30 um, for the Leatherman Micra. Uh, lastly, I, of course, leaving the house, had to add my wallet. And my wallet is just a, a no brand Walmart wallet, probably fake leather that I bought probably a good eight, nine years ago. And surprisingly, it's held up well. Um, and it's just a simple bifold wallet. I got my driver's license, which of course is, is flipped backwards for, for this video. My concealed handgun license and some various uh, cards. No cash ever, um, unfortunately. My wife keeps all that, but that's the uh, the wallet. And I, I prefer a slim bifold wallet, and I'm actually in the market for a new wallet. So if you have any suggestions on like high quality brands of like handcrafted leather wallets, I'd really like to look into getting a, a better quality wallet that I can carry for the rest of my life. Um, 
and maintain the leather and, and keep it in good shape. So, of course, when I left the house, I added the wallet. Um, and then lastly, I added the keys. And so on my keys, I carry my key fob for my vehicle, which is a Nissan Maxima. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the house key. Um, simple carabiner, and this is just to clip it to my belt loop. And then I'll just drop the keys into my pocket. So I'll clip this to the belt loop closest to my front right pocket, and then just let the keys fall into that pocket. I also have a Night Eyes brand, little multi-tool keychain tool. It's called the Doohickey. And these cost about $4. It's got a bottle opener, you know, kind of a pry, pry tool, some hex wrenches, which I don't see anyone ever using those. I never have, and I've had this on my keys for probably six years. But for four bucks, it's a decent little uh, multi-tool. And then I carry a Streamlight Nano. I think I touched on this particular uh, keychain light in a previous video. It's just a simple twist bezel light. One setting, uh, not terribly bright, but good for a keychain light. And the way I have my, my keys set up is in such a way that, you know, this main carabiner here is clipped to my belt and each individual tool or item with the exception of my house key has its own uh, way of attaching to the keys. So any individual tool, whether it be the multi-tool or the uh, nano or the key fob for my vehicle, they can all be individually removed from the main uh, carabiner. Again, the house key stays on there at all times. That never leaves. So that's my keys, nothing too exciting. Uh, and then the last thing, which I can't show you because I'm filming with it right now, is my phone. I use an iPhone. It's an iPhone 8S Plus, I believe. And, uh, and so that's my, my EDC. The one thing that's not pictured here is my EDC firearm, my concealed handgun. Um, I carry a Smith & Wesson shield. It's the original generation. Uh, kind of no, no upgrades other than the sights. I added some True Glow night sights. Um, otherwise it's stock. I carry an eight round magazine uh, as well as a spare magazine on my person. The reason I'm not showing it here is because being so new to Amazon, I'm, I'm frankly not sure exactly how things work yet. And I know there's been a lot of backlash recently with some gun related channels in terms of just YouTube's not gun friendly. And so I, I've got a Pretty extensive gun collection. I carry one every day. I'd like to uh, do some videos on those in the future, but for now I'm, I'm just kind of holding off just until I can learn a little bit more about YouTube's policies. Um, so with that said, uh, a couple other things I just want to throw in real quick um, that I may carry on a given day. Uh, I may, for example, not carry the Micra, and instead I may carry the Leatherman uh, Squirt PS4. And the main difference to be honest with you, is just that the main tool on the on the squirt um, are a small set of pliers as opposed to uh, scissors. Um, and then I'll show you real quick on the Micra what other tools are included um, in the Micra. Again, the main the main implement being the scissors. It also has a nail file, a nail cleaner, a flathead screwdriver, and a little pen blade on one side. I can get, get a good view on that. And on the other side, we're gonna have a small screwdriver, kind of a micro, like eyeglasses sized uh, screwdriver. We're gonna have some tweezers, which I've used a few times, and then another screwdriver. And, and on this particular driver, if you can see that, it says four Phillips. And so this is supposed to be designed for a Phillips uh, driver, and I've used this. You can probably see some of the wear on it. Um, but it's not super effective on a Phillips drive uh, just because it's, it's flat. It's not, um, it doesn't actually have the Phillips shape to it. But, you know, a decent set of tools um, and the scissors, for me in my experience, has been plenty. Um, I do have a number of other multi-tools that are larger that I just don't tend to carry. Um, what else? The watch. So again, I talked about this being a G-Shock. A couple others that I may wear. Uh, this is another G-Shock that I wear pretty regularly, um, a little more expensive than the, the one I showed earlier. And the main difference is that it's got an analog, uh, you know, minute hand and uh, hour hand, and just has some more features. 
um, and it's you know this gray color with orange accents. So I like that one quite a bit. If I'm going somewhere a little fancier, I may wear a Citizen watch. This is a leather banded watch. I don't know the, the model number off the top of my head, um, but you know an, an, another watch that I might wear. So um, if I can get those out of the way, we'll bring the watch back. Um, that is my EDC if I'm leaving the house minus the firearm, which is not pictured here. Um, the last thing I'll say is that in the middle of the day today, I switched pocket knives. Um, so I was, and it wasn't because of this, I was opening a package sitting on my patio and I dropped this knife and I don't know if you can see, but it left a, landed on the concrete and, and left a scratch right there which I could care less about. It gives it a little character. Um, kind of like, what's those movies with the kids that are wizards? Harry Potter. Um, like that scar he has on his head. Now my uh, Kershaw 1776 has a little scar. And I'm fine with that. But what happened is I got a package in the mail, which was another Honey Badger knife. And I know I've talked a lot about, about these. This is the medium size uh, in tan. And since I got it in the mail, I wanted to play with it and flip it. And so I switched in the middle of the day from the Kershaw to the Honey Badger. Speaking of which, I had a, a pretty at length conversation with some people at Western Active, which is the exclusive distributor of these knives. And I'll be posting a video probably in the, in the near future about some uh, new things coming down the pipeline from the manufacturer of the Honey Badger, um, which is a South African company called Ultratech. So midday, I kind of swapped knives. Um, it was towards the evening time, but that is my, my EDC. And so with that said, I want to give a, a few shout outs to some of my subscribers who've been really engaging with me in the comments. And, and I've appreciated that being brand new to this and having very few subscribers at this point. And those people are Frederick, Zhu, Jonathan Steele, Gareth, Connor P, Jade Schaefer, Slith, and lastly, although he hasn't commented, and I don't expect him to, but I know he's been watching my videos and that's my dad. He's into a lot of the same stuff that I'm into. And so thank you to everybody who's commented. It's been nice to chat with you guys. And, and dad, thanks for watching. And I apologize for any inconvenience I caused you as a, uh, as a youth. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Um, uh, as far as prices, if you're, if you're interested, I think I cover them for the most part. The Kershaw is gonna run you about 43 bucks. The G-Shock is gonna run you about 43 bucks as well. The Doohickey from Night Eyes is gonna run you $4. The Comb is uh, $10, I believe. The Pen is $7.50. The MicroStream USB rechargeable light is $30 and comes in at 250 lumens. The Leatherman Micra is $27 to $30. And the wallet was probably 10 bucks at uh, Walmart. Uh, a tin of Altoids is probably two bucks. These Burt's Bees, I usually get them in like a four pack for six or seven dollars and then standard Bic lighter there, nothing too exciting. So with that said, that is my first official EDC pocket dump or EDC update. And I'll try to do these maybe every month or so and, and see if anything changes. If there's something that you think I should add to my keys or a wallet I should check out or a multi-tool or a watch or, or something like that or a pen, uh, please let me know. I'm always willing to, to try new things. There, there's certain things that I kind of stick with and, and just kind of always, always carry. Um, like the comb, for example, I, I don't see myself changing combs, but uh, I, I'm certainly open to, to feedback from you guys on, on other uh other things that I could add or uh, replace rather. I don't like to carry a ton of stuff. This is enough, I mean, as it is when you add in the firearm and the spare magazine, it's, it's plenty of stuff to be carrying on my person. And so I don't, I don't really wanna expand it in terms of, of the quantity of items, but I'm certainly open to replacing something with a different version that may be better or something that I don't know about. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.